Uh, Richard Robinson, one of the catchment directors with for the Environment Agency for the Cumbria Foods Partnership. Uh, I think the day has gone really well so far. It's going to be a good opportunity for lots of communities and professional partners to share their information. Um, lots of discussions ongoing, some really good presentations this morning, quite thought provoking um, issues brought out there. So the, uh, the, kind of the, the, the discussions seem to be going really well around the tables at the moment, lots of uh, information being shared. So it's been a really good success. I think it's, it's first of all, it's really reassuring to kind of members of the public and those action groups that are here today to actually realise that there's an awful lot of work going on across the organisations and that we actually are all joined up sometimes the kind of the, the wonder if there is kind of those discussions going on in the background and they are kind of we are working really hard to, to help to help deliver that these kind of sessions are really good in bringing that awareness but we also capture so much more information from them as well share that common expertise I've been speaking to a couple of um, people from universities, got some really good contacts today which I'll be chasing up and that will help to kind of move uh, flood relief and flood protection forward in the catchment. I'm Jane Meek, Corporate Director at Carlisle City Council. Uh, I currently chair the Housing uh, Flood Recovery Group uh, for Cumbria and I'm here to talk about um, the District Council approach to recovery. Brilliant, and how's the day been going so far? It's been really interesting actually. Uh, I've had lots of interest in how councils engage with the communities, uh, how we're dealing with resilience grants, uh, and, and generally how, how the district councils are dealing with recovery measures, and, uh, which is ongoing. Uh, we know that in Carlisle there are still some people who are out of their homes and are still struggling to get back in. Um, that is so difficult for them. All we can do is try and work in partnership with the Environment Agency, the County Council, with the community groups to try and make uh, lives a bit easier and, and to ensure that if a flood happens again that we all respond quickly. This is Alan Goodman, the North West Regional Advisor for the Met Office and I gave a presentation today to raise awareness of all the various sources of information that are available in, return to, in terms of severe weather and flood risk to enable particularly representatives from community action groups uh, they know exactly what information is out there basically to make them as weather aware as possible. We also hosted three sessions in the afternoon at which uh, <clears throat> representatives from various groups and organisations came, asked questions, uh, subject matter, various bits of subject matter from why Storm Abigail was so different to Storm Desmond, uh, how can we help, how can this particular community, that community, how can they help in terms of getting information out to their groups, etc. So all to do with information awareness and arming the very, particularly the community response groups to the best, the best level possible basically. Really? It's been a very, very interesting day. Um, particularly meeting the representatives from the different flood groups and seeing what their particular problems are that affect their areas, uh, where, <clears throat> where they are, and how they currently cope and how I can, whatever we can do, what bits we can do to help them in their preparation and response for, for future flood events. So it's always great to meet uh, members of the general public who put in so much voluntary time uh, into their local flood response groups. So I've enjoyed it immensely. I'm Joe Murray, I'm the Chair of Kendall Community Emergency Planning Group. I'm also Chair of uh, Cumbria Neighbourhood Watch Association. And, uh, and I came here today to um, have a better understanding of what there is available that will help me both with the Emergency Community Planning Group and also what Cumbria Neighbourhood, Neighbourhood Watch can offer uh, by way of communication processes. Fantastic, and how uh, successful do you feel the stage gone? Uh, it's been a long day, there's been a lot to take in, but I've, uh, I've learned a lot from it and, and I've been able to sort of share many things that will help many people that were here today as well. The, the main thing really is the fact that a uh, community emergency planning group um, can contribute a huge amount to communities in times of uh, emergencies. Yeah, I, I, every community emergency plan needs volunteers. Many volunteers came forward <clears throat> as part of Storm Desmond to help in their communities and we need them more so than ever before to help prepare for the next emergency.